Welcome, viewers of this video. I hope you enjoy what's on the agenda for today. Here are some very interesting smoke detectors, vintage, of course, that I have found. If it has not become already obvious, these smoke detectors aren't in the best of shape. At least, the one on the bottom is in horrid shape. Just look how rusty this one is. That's pretty horrible. Yuck, indeed. You can see it's made by Pyrotronics. Let's take a look at one in better condition. So here is a vintage Pyrotronic smoke detector circuit board or a smoke detector module. Now this was part of a commercial building's fire alarm system. So you'll notice this detector does not contain an alarm horn. You notice it contains a power supply transformer, an indicating LED, a couple of relays, and the ionization chamber. Let's take a look at the other side of the smoke detector, Pyrotronics. And it's got some information on the label on the bottom of the ionization chamber. Let's take a look at that. You'll see information about returning it to Pyrotronics for disposal. But the best part you'll see at the very bottom. Contains radioactive material. And Mericium 241. 0 0.8 microcuries. This is an ionization smoke detector module, probably from the 1970s. I'd like to try to power these devices up and see if I can get it to successfully detect smoke. Here is another view of the ionization chamber. I believe right smack in the middle, that little goldenish colored sliver is the Americium 241. Okay, so I have one of these old detectors hooked up. I tried powering up this first detector, but the transformer, one of the windings I believe, is open and it would not provide the necessary voltage on the secondary. But I found that the 120 volts AC power you put between here and here to this connection on the transformer and this connection on the transformer which is across the black wire and the white wire. I found that the blue wire had a short circuit connected to the white wire. Although I think that might be normal on this thing for some reason. I'm not entirely sure what the red and the what the red and the yellow are for, but they go to one of the relays. So I think it's just another uh, signal connection. Or maybe an interconnect perhaps. So I got this detector hooked up right here. Now, unfortunately, its ionization chamber is squashed, but that does not electrically alter its function. I have the 120 volt wires connected right here, and so far only the normally open output right here is working. The normally closed one here, uh, the contact isn't making or breaking, it's probably a soldering joint or the relay connection or something like that. But I want to show operation with a normally open hooked up to a continuity meter and then a source of smoke. In this case the common match. This meter shows the AC voltage going into the detector. This is continuity. I got my old variac.
you notice the LED begins to light on the detector. The smoke detector runs at about 25 volts, 24, 25 volts DC when you have 120 volts AC in. If I turn off this overhead light, you can better get a better glimpse of the LED lit up. So the LED does not detect that smoke. The LED does not indicate smoke being detected. The LED merely indicates that there is power applied to the smoke detector. So we're going to get ourselves a match here to get some smoke into the smoke detector. Sometimes it's hard to get it in there good. I'll try again. And there it goes. It detected the smoke. Blow on the ionization chamber. Getting the smoke out of there. Takes a moment for it to, there it goes. Hmm. Fire! Fire! Smoke has been detected. Smoke has been detected. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video of this vintage Pyrotronics Smoke Detector Unit.